Welcome Gab. Fans also know you as a stand-up comic, even voted Best Comedian in Pittsburgh by the City Paper and Pittsburgh Magazine. But your new album came out of a pretty dark time in your life. Even the title of the album is dark. It's called Everybody's Dead. Welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me on a different note than yeah. I normally hear. So. A very different note. And yeah. let's just start with the title of the album. Okay. Where does that come from? So um, for the last eight years, I've been a caregiver for my mom, taking care of her. She was my best friend, my soulmate, my muse, the whole reason I loved performing the arts. And um, she passed away in November of 2015. And when she died, I just knew I needed to throw myself into a, an art project because that's just the way I deal with sure. all things in life, being bullied. That's where that came from. So um, we started working on the album. Ms. I was signed by Mizra uh, Records, which is uh, they're the general manager is based in Pittsburgh. And we started building the album assuming it would be dedicated to my mom and uh, it was all the material I had built over the eight years of being her caregiver which mostly centers around being the suburban eccentric in Robinson Township so sure. I'm sort of the, the weird person in Robinson <laughs> and um, and so yeah so I was working on the album we had booked when we were gonna record it uh, live at the arcade comedy theater over two nights and um, like three weeks before the recording we my brother suddenly died um, oh on Christmas Eve actually oh. and so um, um, his funeral ended up being one week before the recording. And so I'm at the funeral home and everyone's giving me their condolences and then they're saying, you have this really great thing coming up, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm recording a comedy album in a week. So it was just a really intense time to do a live recording, but I'm really proud of the product and what came out of it. And um, and it's really helped me grieve. And I, and I think that's a great thing. And I think so many people can relate to loss and relate to what your album is all about and kind of try to find a different side to that. But it's not just about loss, your album. Talk right. about some of the other really important topics. Oh my gosh. So I definitely, I like, I cover a lot of, you know, um, you know, it's not political. It's absurdly political. <laughs> like I never will blatantly be like, this is bad. This right. is right. It's like a weird story. And then at the end they're like, oh, did she just make a point about this? You know? So it's very absurd. It's, um, it's a lot of it is like, so I, um, I'm really into working out. I, okay. I'm, a, I'm a manic, high energy person. <laughs> so a lot of my stories are about these exercise walks I take in my suburban neighborhood. Okay. And my friends all make fun of me. They're like, what are you, a golden girl? You take exercise walks? But it's true. I take these like very high powered walks. And um, there have been a few incidents on my walks. I was chased by a deer at, at one point. Oh my God. Um, which was terrifying. Yeah, um, I'm sure. And in the suburbs, you call the police over a thing like that. It's <laughs> like, are you going to arrest the deer? What's going to happen? Um, so it's stuff like that. It's, um, uh, at one point, I accidentally hit a groundhog with my car, and I was so distraught about it that I was outside, like, just trying to cheer myself up by grilling, not the, the groundhog, uh, chicken. And my, I do clarify. Yes, I want to clarify. I'm wondering. <laughs> and my neighbor came over, and, I, and we were talking about this dead groundhog on the street. I'm like, oh, did you see it? That was me. I accidentally, it was me that killed it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's walk over to my car to see if there's, you know, anything on it. And she went, oh. I'm so happy to hear you killed it with your car. I thought you did on your exercise walk, which oh just left me God. like, what? <laughs> so I guess it's a bit about like, what did my neighbor think, you know, and things like that. And and, and my stories about my mother, um, she and I were so close. Oh. I mean, people just would always say we reminded them of that old movie in black and white, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. So yeah, <laughs> so I was very Norman Batesy with my mother and oh that's a part God. of it. So well, yeah. And these are just your everyday life experiences that you are finding the humor in and sharing with people. And we were talking before the show started, you said the scariest part about this is just showing everyone this side of you. Talk right. about that. How crazy I am. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the people that I think will, will not be surprised, yeah. and, and this is not an album for children. I would say sure. it's a PG-13. Um, but the kids that I go into the school, they'd be like, yeah, no, Gabby's crazy. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> like, that's who she is. Um, so it's just, I'm very... I think in cartoon. That's the best way I can describe it. So something that happens at the grocery store where someone would be like, oh, that's just this thing. I see it as like in like color. It's and then really I different. just, and then it becomes this like weird story. Like I still play grocery store. Like I was, got in trouble at Giant Eagle because I was, playing pretend groceries are not actually going to buy anything. But I imagine what everyone else around you was thinking at that moment. <laughs> exactly. How does doing something like this compare to your work with Josh and Gab? Um, well, so when you work with kids, you know, you, it's more about them, you know, it's all about, I just want to get this message to them. I want them to feel safe. I want them to feel good about themselves where when I'm doing stand up for it's, this is more for me, you know, I mean, I'm still trying to entertain an audience. I want them to laugh, but I also want them to think I have a sort of different style with, I, I come from a theater background. I went to okay. Duquesne and majored in theater. So I, I find that I like to play with levels on stage and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think the stand up is more gab, like 
like just for me. And the Josh and Gab show is for the kids. For so. kids. And we're showing some video of you guys out there performing at one of the schools right now. And all of your work seems to come from being bullied yourself. Talk about that because so many kids nowadays can relate to that that topic. It's so unfortunate. Yeah, it really is. And I think, you know, that's my whole point of view. Yeah, I was always like the odd kid, you know? And, um, and the weird part of my journey was like the kids who bullied me weren't like the popular kids. Those were the kids who had my back. Yeah. It was like the kids that the popular kids were bullying. And then they thought, well, Gab's weird. Why were they nice to her? And then right, they right. bully me. So then I was being bullied by kids that my friends were being mean to. I didn't know how to get help. So like my mother was always my protector sure, and, sure. and the person that would call the school and explain the situation. And it is sad. It is said that people bully over differences and, um, but I think it's getting a lot better. And I have to say that because schools are so proactive now, I mean, we didn't really have that. It was more, you know, we did, we had just say no to drug assemblies. We never had kindness assemblies. And, um, and that's all we're really trying to promote. Just, just be kind, you know, don't worry what the other kid's doing. Just focus on you and the good things in your life. Absolutely. And w what's the one thing you really want people to take away from listening to this album? I, I think what I want to, uh, people to take away is that, you know, every person has their own journey. And, you know, as a woman comedian, it's very rare that I'm not up there talking about my children or my husband or, you know, my job even. Like, this is a story of, you know, an adult woman who took care of her sick mother for years and, and you know, had to make a life in the suburbs that she grew up in. And she's a little off. And so this is, I hope that other caregivers out there and other people who don't have a traditional life can maybe, you know, find it appealing. I'm sure. All right, Gab, thanks so much for being here. It sounds incredibly funny. We can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Gab Vanessa's comedy album debuts on April 21st. You can come to her release show at the Andy Warhol Museum that night at 8 o'clock with special guest Jean Collier. Look for more details at kdka.com slash PTO. I am the female.